After I create a presentation, I like to use PowerPoint features that provide an even richer viewing experience, like adding action buttons to slides. Let me show you how. Say, for example, that I'm introducing a new company logo to my colleagues. First, I'm going to build a little suspense. On the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, I click Shapes. In the bottom section, labeled Action Buttons, I click a shape that I want to appear on the slide, such as this question mark. I drag the crosshair cursor diagonally on the slide to indicate the size and location of the question mark button. In the Action Settings dialog box, I specify the actions that I want to associate with the button. For example, on the Mouse Click tab, I click Hyperlink To and then click the down arrow. I can choose to hyperlink to other slides, other presentations, other websites, and other files. I'll select Last Slide from the list. There are different actions that I can assign to the button objects. I can specify a program to run when the button is clicked, or specify a macro to run, or in the case of a button that's a linked or embedded object, I could specify an action to run. But for this button, I'm going to instead assign a sound as the action. I click Play Sound, and then choose a sound, like Drum Roll, from the list, so that I'll have sound accompanying the action. Then I click OK. Now, when I click the Action button during the slide presentation, we hear the drum roll as the last slide appears, showing our new logo. If I decide later that I want to change the settings for the Action button, I select the button on the slide, and on the Insert tab, in the Links group, I click Action. I want to mouse over the button rather than click it, so on the Mouse Click tab, I click None to remove the current settings. On the Mouse Over tab, I select the settings I want, and then click OK. Now let me show you another possibility for adding action to a slide. Instead of turning this text into a hyperlink, I'll insert a picture of the site our finance team created using Office SharePoint Server and use it as the hyperlink. To do this, in the Illustrations group, I click Picture, find the picture where I've stored it on my computer, and insert it onto the slide. I resize the picture and move it to where I want it on the slide. Then, on the Insert tab, in the Links group, I click Action to show the Action Settings dialog box. I click Hyperlink to, and this time I select URL. I type the URL of our SharePoint server site, click OK, and click OK again. Now when I'm presenting the slideshow, the picture acts as a preview of our team site, which I click to go to the real thing. As you can see, whether you use the built-in buttons in PowerPoint or create your own, it's easy to add action to your slides.